I know I talk quite a lot about my uh, my own process. Sometimes it seems like that's all I do, <laughs> but um, yeah, I've, I'm I'm sketching uh, an upcoming uh, issue of of Thomas Alsop, the uh, the series from uh, from Boom, and I thought I would I would do a small video of my sketching process. I've shown you my inking process before, but here's how I how I sketch it. Uh, I start out with the script. Obviously, uh, I print it out and, and do thumbnails, sometimes even on the script, just as good a place as any. Then I make rough uh, pages of my uh, of, of the pages, just roughs, which I then scan in and uh, put borders and lettering on my, uh, on my pages. And then I print them out in oversize, and that looks something like this. And then I'm just sketching on this dinky printout. Love that process. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, sped up, of course, how, how it's done. So like I said, I, I uh, scan in my roughs, my, my uh, rough pages, and uh, I, I put them in a, an InDesign document and put in the borders and the, and the, and the text of the lettering. You can find that in, in one of the, the, uh, the video tutorials on comicsforbeginners.com. The, uh, the 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 complete process of of that, um, and then I tone down my my scribbles to maybe twenty thirty percent before printing it out. So there's already something there on the page. I try to avoid that fear of the blank page by by this doing this, um, because there's already something there. I already have my rough sketches. I have my uh, my text, my lettering. This is not the final lettering, by the way. There's a, a, a real letterer attached to the book. So what I put it in for is, is basically just to have an idea of, of of where to put the balloons, how big to make them, so so that it, it, it helps tell the story. Um, yeah, so there's already something there, and all I have to do, in quotation marks, is to fill in uh, the blanks of, of this page. And I love working on this dinky printout because I have no emotional attachment to it whatsoever. I just try to pound out as many drawings as possible, and if I screw up, it's, it's no biggie. I can print out a new one, or I can, uh, I can uh, just sketch on a different piece of paper. It doesn't matter. But this is uh, my, uh, my, my process. And as you can see, I also use reference. That's why the iPad is, is lying on the on the table as well. I love using the iPad for reference uh, to, to look online for that because you can put it directly on your drawing table and not worry about getting uh, getting uh, cough spilling coffee in it or whatever. And I can sit and just work um, uninhibited. Um, yeah, so that's a good little tool, a little trick. Uh, yeah, and obviously books, I use that as well. And I try to, yeah, I try to not worry so much, but just pound out drawings as as fast as possible. Not as fast as this, obviously, this is sped up, but uh, you you get the idea. Hope that was helpful. Um, at least you uh, you got yet another insight into my uh, my working process. Um, have any questions? Please uh, please leave them underneath this uh, video, either at YouTube or the site or wherever you are. But I would recommend uh, coming by comicsforbeginners.com if you're not there already. You can watch all the other uh, all the other videos I make there, blog posts, resources, stuff like that. So come on by. Be happy to have you.